and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another one of my videos. And obviously we're in 2021 now, brand new year. So what I wanted to do and give you today with this brand new year is to talk about five easy ways you can create change in your life because we all want change. And especially with the year that we had in 2020, everybody wants change. They're like, I've learned these lessons, I've gone through these hardships and I want change, right? So to really embody that change, we have to be the change. So I wanted to give you five steps today, five easy steps that you can take here and now and work on to create the change that you want in your life and to see results, to see that different outcome by making your reaction, your midpoint of the sum different. Because what we're doing, we get what we tolerate essentially. So what you have been doing is seeing the results of what you're doing currently. So your energy to the universe is mirroring back to you in the results that you're getting. So if you want change, we have to change that sum, we have to change that formula so that you are getting the different results that you want, of course. So I thought this is the perfect time, beginning of the new year, to give you this video to help you identify how you can create positive change and embody that in your life and see those results that you want to see this year and make a change. So the first step is to witness what doesn't feel good and to take action from that point. So the fact you're probably watching this video means that you've probably already identified, heck, I wanna create some change in my life. Yes, I wanna manifest change, Emma. Please tell me these steps. So the first point is always to witness it and to see that you need to take action here to create that change. So where in your life does it not feel good? Where in your life do you want to create change? or where, what's potentially feeling a bit stuck or not feeling positive to you, where are you wanting that change or shift? That's the first step. Identify it, witness it, and maybe also it's witnessing that you maybe have tried some things already to create shifts and change and maybe that hasn't worked so far. So it's important to witness all of this. Witness your true emotions, witness how you truly feel and witness how you want to feel with that person, that situation, that career, that house, whatever it may be. Like wherever the change and shift is needed or is wanted, it's important to witness first of all that you want to create that change, that you want to create that shift and maybe that it doesn't feel good and maybe it does feel negative or toxic. You know, that's important to witness as well. If it doesn't feel good, then that's just as important to witness as if it mildly doesn't feel good. You know, we have to honor our true emotions and to have acceptance over the situation. Acceptance is so important because when we have acceptance over something, we can move from that place. We can then work from that place of acceptance to create shift and change. So. Do you have acceptance over the situation? That's another great question to ask yourself. Maybe a great one to journal on as well. Do you have acceptance over your current situation? If you do, fantastic, these next steps are gonna help. If not, then maybe that's the very first place you need to start with this to create that shift and change. The next step is to get honest about what you want and what change or shifts you want to see. So if this, you know, whatever it may be, circumstance in your life doesn't feel good, what do you want? What? What do you want to feel differently? What do you want to see differently? What do you want to experience differently? And it's really important to stay neutral in this place of if it's, um, you know, you're wanting to see shifts and change in something current in your life and keep that person or keep that situation or keep that house, keep that career, it's important to really stay detached in this process because, well, I'm gonna get to that stage later on, but if you are obsessing that you know, that career must stay the same or that house must stay the same or that friendship must stay the same or that relationship must stay the same person. This is where the resistance is coming in. So I know it's hard to do and I'm really gonna get to that point later on and how you detach from that. But I would really keep things neutral and be like, you know, I wanna feel peace, I wanna feel happiness, I wanna feel joy and not necessarily pinpoint it to a person, a job, a situation, a house, but really how you want to feel in yourself. So. What emotions do you want to feel within yourself? That's the important thing to, to ask yourself. And what do you want? Is it to feel happy and fulfilled in your job? Is it to have loving and amazing friendships? Like whatever it may be, it's important to witness that without holding it onto a specific person or place or thing. Because again, that's where we're actually disempowering ourselves and actually taking the happiness away from ourselves 
by saying that that thing or that person will bring us that happiness. So stay detached. It doesn't mean that it's not gonna happen and that person or thing can't shift or situation or job, but that's out of your hands. That's in the universe's hands. So let the universe deal with the who's, when's, why's, what's and whatever's. Um, and your job is to focus on the emotions, focus on the feelings. So what do you want and how do you want to feel? And you know, what change do you want to see? Like how, what do you want to experience? So it's really important and that's part of the manifesting process as well to get clear, right? To get clear on what you want and what you want to see. So really think about that and keep it detached. I promise you that's the way you do it by keeping detached and keeping neutral um, and focusing on the feeling rather than something really, 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 really specific. Um, which the universe might be like, well, actually we have something way better for you if you just detach from that. And you know, I'm gonna worry about that job. You know, I'm gonna worry about that friendship. Like we've got a million better things coming your way. So my third point is to mirror it back to yourself. So the change that we want to see in the outer world is the very change that we need to do in our inner world, right? Let me say that again. The change you wanna see in the outer world is the very inner change that you need to do yourself. Now, if we want to see change in a career, for example, People say you're not happy at your job and you want you want to stick at your job because maybe it's good money or it's good prospects but you just want to feel good you want to feel happy maybe you want good work friendships and a good work environment so you're wanting to see that change you're wanting to manifest that change in your work so if you are feeling negative or it feels like a negative or toxic environment mirror it back to yourself where in so let me give you an example just so i can make it really specific so say for instance you felt underappreciated at work mirror it to yourself i underappreciate myself so ask yourself that first you always first person mirror it back so your outer experience this works great for relationships too and any of relationships in our lives friendships whatever if something is annoying you about someone or whatever mirror it back to yourself so first person statement of I feel underappreciated. Does that resonate? Does that ring true? If it's a yes, you found your mirror. If not, then you mirror it back out. So then you look at your friendships or you look at other areas of your life and you're like, where do I feel underappreciated in other areas of my life? Is it in my family life or I don't know, like another area. And if that's still not resonating at that point, then you mirror it and say, where am I underappreciating people in my life? So. Are you appreciating your friendships enough? Are you appreciating and cheering on your family, for example, or your partner or whatever? And then you can see where that mirror is gonna be and it will always be there. So follow those steps. First person statement, if not, mirror it out to other areas of your life. So although you may be having that issue in your workplace, actually the root of it, the root of that projection as such, is actually gonna be either in yourself of how you feel about yourself or how your you know, interacting with other people in your life or other areas of your life, um, or how people are interacting with you. So mirror it, see where the mirror is, because this is how we create shift and changes, by witnessing where the work needs to be done. So if we want change, we have to be the change. We have to, like I said, with that sum analogy, we have to change the formula to create a different outcome. So where does the work need to be done there? Is it knowing your worth more? Is it saying, do you know what? I do underappreciate myself. I need to work my worth so that I can feel appreciated at work. So maybe it's not necessarily like a conversation that you have to have at work to shift that. It might be. Trust your intuition here. But actually maybe it could be even in the simplest things of your energy and how you start to appreciate yourself and your worth and, you know, feel empowered and change your energy, shift yourself with that inner work to then automatically, as if by magic, see that shift and change in your workspace where you suddenly feel appreciated because you're appreciating yourself or you're appreciating other people in your life, for example. So see how that works. Take your statement. What is your statement of, I feel I'm angry that, or I'm frustrated that. Take your statement of what you wanna change or what you wanna see the change in your world, in your life, and mirror it you will find it and it will help to do that inner work and to energetically become the match to that shifted changed situation that you want so that person who does feel appreciated at work how does she feel well she's going to feel pretty happy confident at peace 
So you need to embody that, you need to become that. So you need to look within yourself or within your other, you know, areas of your life of where that that kind of dispeace feels, that unpeace feels, so that you can, you know, work on that and heal that to energetically align to that that change shifted situation or circumstance that you want. So fourth is worth, of course. Now again, a lot of the time when we want to change situations or see different outcomes, I've realized within my own work and with clients and through everybody I work with on this, it does come down to worth a heck of a lot of the time. And worth has been such a common theme in 2020. That is what we learned. We learned our worth in 2020. Anything that wasn't in alignment fell away and we had to realize what was for our highest good and to really step up and claim that, right? So 2021 is walking that talk now, is like stepping into that and owning that. So let's use that work analogy again of if you felt underappreciated at work, well actually, do you know your worth? Do you know your worth to be able to sit there and say, I am feeling underappreciated? Because if you knew your worth, it wouldn't matter. You know, of course, you know, things upset us, we feel things, we feel emotions, like we're perfectly allowed to feel, you know, we are allowed to feel affected by the outside world, of course. But if you truly knew your worth, you wouldn't sit there in victim mode, like, I want this to shift, I want this to change, come on universe, you know, you'd be there like, right, I know my worth, it's a hell no from spirit, I'm walking away, I'm changing jobs or whatever, if if it wasn't resolved, for example. So worth is everything, worth is everything. So when you're wanting that shift, that change, whatever it is, ask yourself, do you really know your worth here? Are you really truly aligned and in that healed space of knowing your worth from an aligned and healed place where you can now take action. Now, again, if you're watching this video, I am gonna say, because guess what? I need to hear this sometimes myself. You're probably not in that total aligned worth place yet because you would be already doing this and actioning it. And again, this isn't like to say you're not doing the work. Like every single human being feels this. Every single person has to remind themselves of this. We're human, right? We're constantly learning and evolving. So don't feel like you've done anything wrong by that. You really haven't. I do it, everybody does it. We have to be reminded sometimes. So the fact that you're on this process means that you need to step into your worth more of it of like, I am worthy and deserving of appreciation at work. I am worthy and deserving of unconditional love. I am worthy and deserving of whatever your statement is, you know, what are you worthy and deserving of? What do you need to align your worth to more and heal to really say, do you know what? Actually, yeah, I'm not gonna tolerate that because again, we have to create the change. So if your reaction is like in the sum again, if your reaction is the same every time, the outcome is exactly the same every single time because you're getting what, you know, you get what you tolerate. And that is a quote I always love to give, is the universe gives us what we tolerate. So not to be mean, not to be nasty, not to be like, oh, you know, bad karma, not at all, none of that. It's just energy, right? What we put out comes back to us. So if you're always doing the same thing, you're always gonna get the same outcome. So to create shift and change, you have to take your inspired action here by changing, changing your reaction. So if this is worth, which to some degree, every part of every situation anybody could bring to the table here is gonna be worth to some degree, obviously different variants, then you have to decide like, does it feel good to you? Does it feel good to you? And what change from that aligned, healed place of worth can you make to create a different outcome? What are you going to do differently this time? Whether it's communication or actions or whatever, what are you gonna do differently this time to create that change, to create the opportunity and space for change and shift to come in? What are you gonna do? So really look at your worth here. Do you feel worthy and deserving of that thing? Do you feel worthy and deserving in general? Really, you know, self-inquire there and see where that hits home because it will somewhere. And again, when we, you know, realize that and start to walk our talk and really step up and up level and say, do you know what? I actually deserve better. The universe has to meet you there. It has to come from a, a true place. You can't fake it till you make it with that. So you have to do that inner work of why at the moment may, maybe you're not necessarily fully stepping into the worth here or you're you know, allowing things to not be as respectful to you or whatever, meaning that you're in this place where you want change and shift, right? So worth, do you feel worthy and deserving? Really look at that. And say for instance, it's not anything currently in your life and you just want shift and change in general and you're like waiting for a manifestation to come along again. Do you feel worthy and deserving of that? Again, it doesn't necessarily have to be a current thing that you're wanting to shift and change. It could just be 
in general you want shift and change and for your manifestations to come in these tips definitely still apply so ask yourself do you feel worthy and deserving of your desire do you feel worthy and deserving of whatever the situation is for yourself do you feel worthy and deserving of that change and shift do you feel worthy and deserving of up leveled behavior do you feel worthy and deserving of whatever it is up leveling and shifting in the way you want it to sit with that rate it on a scale of one to ten one being i don't believe i'm worthy ten being i'm fully worthy how would you rate it? If it's a seven or below, there's the inner work there for you to do. And you could do some tapping with that, some journaling, tons of stuff you can do with that to work on your worth and also to, to build that score up. But that will be a massive, massive part for you for sure. And number five, finally, and I know I said easy steps. Um, I Well, I would say they're easy because um, once you know them, it's easy. But again, like this will maybe potentially take some time or maybe you'll be like, right, tick, 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 tick. And then you see the shift and change really, really quickly. Or other times, like I've had this, like in work, for example, it takes a while for it to align. It takes a while for, you know, that energy to realign and to up level and shift. So again, there's no set rule here, but when you have the five steps, it is easy. You just got to do the work <laughs> and then expect the miracles as such in whatever way they're going to come to you. So this leads me on perfectly to our fifth step, which is surrendering and letting go. So just like with any manifestation, anything we set as an intention in the universe, we have to let it go and surrender. So this is why I said in the second step, it's so important to stay detached because when you're attaching this shift and change to a person, to a place, to a house, to a car, whatever, whatever you're <laughs> attaching it to, you're then holding on to that and that's still resistance right so it's perfectly okay to want to see shift and change in your current circumstances of course that's why you're here <laughs> and the universe is like that's perfectly okay but we have to stay neutral we have to stay detached and say this or something better for the highest good of all so this work situation up leveling or a new career, a new job coming in for the highest good of all that is going to reflect that change and shift that I want to see. So again, this is probably one of the hardest steps, although there are five easy steps, this will probably be the one that people feel the most resistance with because we, you know, as humans, we do attach to things we want to, we want to like know things and know how things are going to unfold. And unfortunately, that's just not how the universe works. But the four steps I've given you previously help in that letting go and surrendering stage because when you know your worth and you know what you deserve, I really feel that helps to, you know, let you surrender and let go really easily. So because you know you are worthy of that change and shift, you know you are worthy of what's coming, it doesn't matter how that looks or who that looks like or where that looks like you know you're surrendered to it to say well actually maybe that situation or thing isn't for my highest good and actually something better is going to come along um and I, in a year's time you want to be worried about this you'll be so happy in that shifted changes space that it doesn't even matter that it was a different job or a different location or a different friendship or whatever like it just won't matter. So again, when we want to see shift and change, sometimes the very thing that is stopping that shift and change is the attachment, is the fact that you're not letting go and surrendering to all possibilities and all ways of that shift and change happening for you. So really sit with that, journal upon it. Why can't I let this go? Why is it hard to surrender? What is keeping me attached? Really journal upon those things and self-explore there of what is keeping you attached to that very thing? Because again, when we're attached, we're not allowing, we're not receiving and the universe is like, I've got the shift and change here for you, babes. Just let go and I will bring to you exactly what you want or something better for the highest good of all. So absolutely we can shift and create change in our current environments. I've seen it numerous times with clients, with friends, with myself, you know, it happens all the time. But also sometimes things are removed from our life to bring in something even better, which creates the very shift and change that you want exactly like your, you know, your intention expressed. So do trust the process, trust the plan, trust the process and detach. And that will be probably the hardest step out of the five easy steps. But once you perfect that, you will feel good. You'll feel an alignment and you'll feel that shift and change coming. But inspired action here is so important. Like I said, your reaction, your action is the most pivotal thing you can do to create this change and shift because again if you're always responding to that same thing in the same way you're never going to create shift or change 
because you're just going, you're, you know, energetically, you're not changing anything. So when you're reflecting, doing that inner work, taking outer inspired action to create shift and change, the universe has no option but to meet you up there. When you up level, when you know your worth, when you, you know, truly embody that and know that you are worthy of amazing things and that up level and shift that you want, the universe has no option but to meet you there with that or something better for the highest good of all. So I hope this video has really helped you guys and I hope that you've taken away some good nuggets of knowledge to maybe some journaling prompts to go and reflect upon and do these five easy steps to create shift and change in your life because it is certainly possible, absolutely. The law of attraction can absolutely deliver this and the universe, but you are the one who has to be the change. Remember the change we wanna see in the outer world is the change that we need to do in our inner world. So the inner reflects the outer always. So do that work and you will see the change that you want and be brave enough, right? Be brave enough to know your worth and take that inspired action. Be brave enough to ask, be brave enough to say Say no to anything that doesn't align with you because again, that's how we create shift and change is by, you know, reacting differently to how we have done before because when we do things the same, we're always gonna get the same outcome, right? So thank you so much guys for watching my video. I appreciate all your views and likes. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here because I would love, love to see you again soon. Don't forget you can join my free Law of Attraction support group over on Facebook where you can join myself and other like-minded souls where we talk all things Law of Attraction and spirituality. And don't forget you can leave me a comment in the comments box down below and I'll reply to them all. I hope you have a fantastic week, whatever you're up to, and I'll see you all in my next video, which will be next week. Lots of love guys.